All right, YouTube, how you doing? Welcome back to the channel. It is November 17th. We got some action going on in the NBA tonight. I use that word action pretty lightly. Only three games on the NBA slate tonight. But like always, we will jump into each and every game. I'll give you what I'm thinking, give you my lean on the game. We'll talk about it. But my final plays will live in the pinned comment. So make sure to check that out throughout the day. If you're watching this right away when we post the video, we might not have any final plays yet in the pinned comment. So just check back later. But I promise you, they will be in there by game time and i will say this just to start the video let's hit that subscribe button let's hit that like button you guys have been going crazy with the likes and the subscribes on the last couple videos maybe it's because we've been positive day in and day out like last night a three and two play night last night as well but yeah hit that like button hit that subscribe button and uh before we even get into these games i do want to talk about a couple things speaking of liking and subscribing that's awesome and i thank you guys so so much for doing that but if you can find it in your heart to be able to take that next step and support the channel, consider becoming a baller today, which is the $2.99 a month membership that we have on the uh, channel here. All you have to do is click that join button and you're a baller, guys. $2.99 a month. It is super cheap. And I'm trying my best to give back to the ones that choose to support. So I'll say this. At the end of the day, it comes down to you truly wanting to support the channel, right? I know that that's priority number one in terms of anyone that wants to become a baller, but what I'm telling you is honestly, we're trying to make that $2.99 a month worth it in every aspect possible. We're doing ballers only video series. We're doing uh, models here. We have two models right now that are firing on all cylinders. So ballers are getting that every single day. We have a player prop, uh, player props point model. And then we also have a spread and total model as well. So, uh, you know, just consider becoming a baller today, guys. It helps support the channel, helps us make better, 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 better content and uh, better quality content and everything like that we also like i said have ballers only videos on the channel which we're embarking on new stuff here we're going through and step by step um jumping in and building a model together because i think that analytics obviously are the number one thing to help you in your long term term sports betting and being profitable so um you know i want to share that sort of what i've done in, with you guys in a sense so uh make sure to check that out guys i know i'm rambling i know i'm saying too much but uh we're not at the picks just yet we do got to talk about today's sponsor as well and the sponsor of the show here is my bookie guys my bookie is an amazing sports book and what i like about them is how easy it is first and foremost to go on there navigate the site it's super super fast super super easy not clunky like a lot of sports books are but what i like about them is their odds do differ from a lot of other sports books so you know if you're on my bookie and then you know um um, sportsbook a over here like i always tell you guys you got an odd shop if you can get better odds over on my bookie or on sportsbook a it's good to have multiple sportsbook my book you can throw right into your arsenal you'll know how to use it and it is a good sportsbook um they have multiple you know different sort of things to play different types of games if you're just you know into having fun over there on a the sportsbook as well you can also stream games on there so make sure to check out my book you guys link in the description use the promo code gbs for a percent uh, match deposit when you deposit for the first time there i almost like stuttered um but when you deposit for the first time you do get a percent match bonus there guys so it's free money to use over on my bookie so definitely go check it out but let's jump into these games why don't we huh first off we got the brooklyn nets here taking on the portland trailblazers this is a really really interesting game to me if i'm being completely honest i've kind of liked what the nets have done uh, since the, the coach blow up, since the Kyrie blow up, uh, all that type of stuff. I've actually enjoyed seeing the type of basketball they play. Um, last time out, they're coming off of a, <clears throat> they're coming off of a loss here to Sacramento. That was a what, 150 to 120 type game. It was crazy. Portland's coming off of a win against San Antonio here. Um, they won by seven. In terms of injuries here, Portland has a lot of guys to keep an eye on. Yusuf Nurkic is questionable. Justice Winslow is questionable. Gary Payton is out. But, um, you know, Brooklyn's getting points in this one. This may be one of those plays that we take both sides on, and I bet Brooklyn Moneyline pregame and then watch it live and try to live bet over in my bookie. The um, other side, if Brooklyn goes on a run and Portland becomes underdogs during the game, we cut into our profit margin, but profit is profit. It's amazing to be able to sit back, watch a game, and make money on it either way. Everyone can agree with that. So I think that we're going to lean Brooklyn here plus the points. Um, but the real goal, so make sure to keep an eye on the pinned comment to see if this becomes a final play. The real goal ultimately is going to be to take, um, I would say, Brooklyn money line, hoping that uh, they go on a run during the game and uh, we can end up betting Portland live bet when they go underdogs. Um, but keep an eye on the pinned comment. We'll see how that plays out. Next up, we got the Spurs taking on the Kings here. Kings, seven point favorites in this one total. Two 
36 and a half. I think this opened up around 238 and it's moving its way down. That is such a, such a high total here. The Kings coming off of, um, we just talked about it, that win against Brooklyn. The Kings have won four straight, five out of their last six. They've won seven games out of their last 10 here and they're a covering machine as of, as of right now as well, guys. Eight and two in the last 10 games against the spread here. San Antonio also covering pretty well. Um, five out of four of the last five games they've covered. In terms of injuries here, no major injuries to note for San Antonio, but uh, there is a pretty decent one for Sacramento here. Sacramento, um, Keegan Murray is questionable here with a back injury, I believe. So if he's not a go, that probably knocks off a couple points that they usually do score. I think the San Antonio team isn't that great. They're great against the spread, like I just said, but I think the Sacramento team is a little bit better. Um, when it comes down to it, especially at home here. So I think I'm going to lay the points here, lean Sacramento minus the seven, um, but I don't totally love it. You know, I hate telling you guys that one. I'm like, oh, here's the play, but I don't totally love it. That does seem a point or two too high for me to uh, really consider that for a final play, but we'll see where the night takes us. Um, Sacramento is five and two this season against the spread at home. So for what that's worth, guys, I do lean Sacramento minus seven. Um, in terms of a total here, I guess I just lean the under. Like I lean under because... That's a huge line. Like, that's a huge number. So I lean the under in this one. Um, the model has this going at 235, so it's pretty damn close. Um, but yeah, I think that that's such a high number that I cannot lean over whatsoever. So I lean under because it's so high. In terms of the first game, um, I lean the over in that one, 220 and a half. But this game, I guess I lean under. I'm almost forced to. Um, next up, we have the Pistons taking on the Clippers here. Clippers, nine and a half point favorites against this Detroit team. Detroit on the season, 3 and 12, which isn't that great, but their against the spread record's a little bit better. 5, 8, and 2 against the spread. It's still not great. Um, they're coming off of a cover against Toronto. They kept that game close a couple nights ago. They lost 115 to 111 here. LA, who I haven't really liked this season, but they've won four out of the last five games, um, beating Cleveland, who's a good team. The Lakers, eh. um, they lost to Brooklyn in a dramatic fashion. I think they lost by like 20 points. Um, Houston, and then Dallas were their other two wins here, or, um, against the spread wins, excuse me. So they've covered four of the last five games. I do start to see LA sort of, you know, picking it up, getting a little bit better, but Paul George is questionable tonight. No Kawhi Leonard. So if you're going to give me nine and a half points, I think that this is the play of the night that's probably going to become a final play. If I had to, uh, if I had to, you know, gun to my head and pick a play right now, I do think that this one becomes a final play over anything. I think that's just a lot of points to give a Clippers team that, yeah, they're getting a little bit better, but questionable Paul George out Kawhi Leonard. You know what I mean? I think that I do lean Detroit in this one, plus the points. In terms of a total, it's 215 and a half. I don't want to touch it. I think that that's a pretty fair line. Detroit stinks, even though we're probably going to take them plus nine and a half here. They stink, and LA can play decent defense and also play pretty slow. So I think 215 is a pretty good number for this game. So I'm sticking away from that, but I do like Detroit plus the points there, guys. But that is all we have for you guys in today's video. I wish there was more games on. I don't even know if we're going to end up watching every minute of these games because they're on so damn late, which stinks. They're like 10 o'clock games. And I'm like, there's only three games. You couldn't have spread them out. So it is what it is. But I hope you guys do enjoy the small slate video, guys. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.